Okay, that concludes my test tracking the sun at 3000 gigahertz 0.4. That was pretty cool. Okay, I got that on now. Just gonna do some alignment test pointing at the sun right over there. Okay, I am just about set up, balanced on the RA and deck and I'm going to use a SIN scan. Um, it's called the SIN scan Wi Fi for the Orion Sirius Pro mount here. And I'm going to do some alignment tests aiming at the sun. And all I got to do now is just power up. Okay, I am slid at the sun. And not going to go blind here, so I use the camera. I'm at 3000 gigahertz at the sun and this can only do NBFM so I am listening to the sun right now on the cheap stuff welcome back I got the radio telescope outside in the backyard real simple quick setup using my Windows notebook and here we are, we are fired up with Sterellium and Nina. I'm using Nina for the 3D view. Make this bigger here. And uh, zoom this out, like so I can see how it's gonna be pointing. So the, right now the sun is southwest. And here you can see in Sterellium that the, that the mount is facing north. So what I wanna do, I'm going to highlight the sun. There is the sun. I'm going to do a focus on it. And I tried solar here on the EQ mod side. It, 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 it's not so, it doesn't track too well. So I'm going to be using sidereal rate uh, when it starts to slew. And um, being that it's on the sun, I'm going to say control one. Oh, it's on. Okay, it's parked. So I'm going to unpark it. And then I'm going to do control one on from Stellarium. And um, you can see, uh, you can see it moving there. You can see my mount moving. See that on the 3D view there? It is moving. And here. gonna move towards the Sun and there it is now I'm gonna fire up uh, what's next I'm gonna fire up a uh, cubic Windows version of cubic SDR hopefully it saved my settings for bookmark I'm using the RTL I don't I didn't want to use my um, air spy out there just yet and I have several saved bookmarks
And so I'm going to go to the sun here, to my bookmarks. I'm going to say activate bookmark. And here you see now this is the sun making all that noise. There, there it is. That's the sun. That's the sun at 3000 gigahertz point four. the sun so now that I am aligned with the sun go into uh, sterilium here current object and I'm going to sync it and it's synced and looking at the bands here I am still on the sun at 3000 gigahertz 0.4 400 kilohertz and uh, at 500 bandwidth. I can listen towards uh, Saturn right here. Do control one. I don't know what the frequency for Saturn is. And I can go to Jupiter. Let me just scroll down here more. Jupiter should be about. Let me back out. Where's Jupiter? There's Jupiter. Big Jupiter right over there. I can slow them out there for Jupiter. Control one. You notice how that sound just changed? That's the mount. Now Jupiter is at 30 megahertz, so that's 3,000. So we'll go here. Go to All right, that's Jupiter right there. drag the sun down here to bookmarks I had all this down already for bookmarks um, Jupiter at 29 megahertz at a bandwidth of 15 kilohertz what I understand is if I want to remember quickly because I had all these bookmarks on my Linux box um, Jupiter is for like I, my best guess was 18 megahertz to 30 megahertz so that's Jupiter. Okay, there you have it. That's me um, testing my radio telescope out there using the cheap, inexpensive RTL. I didn't want to use my AirSpy, what's it called? Yeah, AirSpy HF Plus. So, there's a lot of consideration of building the uh, controller base out there for the radio telescope. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Thank you.